All right, YouTube, what's up? Matt here. Finally got the Dagger Kayaks code small. So this is a review that a lot of people probably want to see. So I got to paddle this weekend on the Nantahedo Cascades just for one lap. Then went on the West Fork Tuck Release, which was my first time going on that. And then took it down the green on Sunday at around 6.5, 7 inches. So got a good feel for it definitely on that southeast style run so i can give you my thoughts on that but we'll just look at the boat here for a minute do a little walk around i got mine in solid red see the bow rack on that thing we'll measure that and get it on the ground Red looks good, but it sure scratches like crazy. All right, it's a nice little walk around for you there. I was able to test out one of the demo boats that Wade let me borrow, the small demo boat first. But then Saturday night, I was able to outfit this one the way I wanted to, so I could have it kind of perfect. Um, for the run on the green on Sunday. So I'll put some stats on the screen for you. But from my memory, it is 8.4 in length. Official stats on the Dagger website. 26 inches wide. Weighs about 44 pounds. Gallon wise, 74 gallons. And if you're using an IR skirt, you need a large cockpit size. I think dagger standard through all that so just FYI on that and check out Wade's site he's going to do a more comprehensive review I'm sure than me he's much more knowledgeable about the ins and outs of chines rails all that kind of stuff and he also has all three sizes so you can check out the comparison of all three sizes I'm just going to be doing the small again if you haven't seen my other videos I'm about 135 ish to 140 on a good day 5'9 Let's measure the stern and bow rocker on this thing. The bow rocker. Looks about like, what do you say, 14 inches? It's actually less than the goat. I thought I had more than the goat. Now the goat is a medium, more like a small medium. Yeah, right at, right at 14 inches there. Stern. Let's check out the stern. Uh, right at ten and three quarters ish, somewhere around there, ten and a half. That's pretty good for stern rocker. Got a lot of stern rocker on it. And just so you know, you can see this here. Let's see. It's like about nine inches on the width on the tail there. So yeah, not as much bow rocker as I thought it would have, honestly. I thought it was more than the goat, but the goat actually is like over 15. All right, so here's the code at ground level. And the small scorch comes out. I hope to get that very soon when it comes out, and I will definitely do a comparison for you on that. They're really the two main creek boats right now for smaller paddlers. So there's a nice walk around for you on the ground. Sorry about the sun and the shade. Kind of mid-afternoon here. You can check out that stern rocker. All right, so let's just go over the boat a little bit. Again, if you want a more detailed walkthrough, check out Wade's video. I'm kind of going to skim through this. Got a nice grab handle here and right security handle right there for if you get, you know, pinned or whatnot. It's still kind of hard to put a lock through there if you have one of those locks, but that's okay. Really strong feeling, solid. If you notice the bow, it's got a little split right here to either side. Cool lines right there. Nice cockpit size, not too big, not too small, like kind of like Jackson. They're they're way too thin down in here, and walk is like way too, way too wide. So it's a nice size. I wish they were were the more of the security bolts like these. They're not security bolts, but just the Allen head key so you can use that 
little wrench they give you for everything instead of having now you got to have to use two different things but that's okay not not too big of a deal two bars on the back here and one nice one on the back stern for grabbing drain plug for cess nice drain plug not drilled in as far as outfitting the standard contour ergo outfitting super nice best hip pads on the market love these things rotor model seat step out pillar um so for me with shoes on i got this sucker on four on the bulkhead again i'm five nine i did scoot the seat forward pretty much all the way i think um i noticed when i paddled it friday and saturday i was getting stern back my stern was getting grabbed quite a bit actually even more so than like a half slice which was kind of odd but moved the seat forward and on the green on sunday kind of basically went away so paddled excellent on sunday i think i finally got it dialed in for the most part i do have one seat pad under here for myself and then i think i have three shims on each side it is 26 inches wide and i'm not very wide so i'm skinny dude so three seat shims on each side for me i did move the thigh braces up one notch too to kind of counteract moving the seat forward but they're super simple to move just loosen these you gotta take that all the way out loosen these two just slide it forward pull on a little bit the seat on this moved really easy. I did have a rewind that I could not get the seat forward, but this moved super easy. You know, adjustable back band, which is great. Um, don't really have anything bad to say about the outfitting. I wish these came out a little wider or a little further up here, but the leg lifter pretty much counteracts that. It lifts your knees up so they stay in there. If it weren't for that, I would have some kind of, my knees would kind of fall out a little bit. But since the leg lifter's there, it's not so bad. Yeah, and keep the little hex key in the back here in case you need to adjust some stuff when you're on the river. But yeah, super good outfitting. Obviously, it's a dagger. Super dry ride. A lot of daggers will leak, but this thing, I'll tell you what, it didn't leak at all when I had it out on the green Friday. And even the test boat I had didn't leak. So I don't know if they fixed some of the problems or used different washers. I can't quite remember. But yeah, super dry ride. So as you can tell, the small, if you did, you'll see in Wade's video, the small... The stern is much narrower this way than the, the medium and large. It looks pretty big just sitting here by itself, but when you see the video, the comparison, the sterns are definitely thicker for the medium and large. And that's really where it kind of grabs right here. Um, especially a couple times on the West Fork, I got flipped over. Just not, really not paying attention, kind of my fault, but bow is super awesome. Lots of rocker, really cool dry ride. It kind of the boat will kind of go like this in the waves and deflect each wave each side off one or the other i will say stability wise got a lot of primary a lot of primary stability so it's going to be a great boat for beginners and experts alike but it's the primary stability is more for beginners where it's harder to flip over in the beginning um you know ever wrap it but not really much secondary stability there if you're if you pretty much go over halfway you're going over so to kind of keep that in mind where like the scorch has a lot of secondary stability got decent primary but the second stability on the scorch is awesome you can pretty much lean all the way over in the water dip your head in and embrace right back up as far as plastic and kind of show you here again one one on the green it doesn't look too bad for being on the green um you know dagger plastics all the plastic nowadays isn't as great as it was before is what it is so here's what the boat looks like upside down you can see the rails are pretty sharp for a creek boat really um and i will say you gotta watch out when you're paddling this it will catch you it will catch you off guard it doesn't look that sharp in this picture but i can tell you in paddling it it definitely got some sharp rails and it will cut into it is super fast it's a pretty fast boat in my opinion for a smaller a shorter length creek boat it gives up to speed good you can see they come to about right there on the bow and then kind of stop and flattens out the hull itself is fairly round it's it's got a little round shape to it definitely not like the scorch where it's, it's totally flat it's flat kind of right here and then softens up on the edge on the sides yeah you can tell where that primary stability is it's nice but again the secondary is not there got this cool code graphic right here it looks pretty sweet 
All right, so what are my thoughts on the boat? So far, again, paddled it three times. Paddled it really once fully outfitted. Like I said, at my weight, I think you, I think about if you're past 130, you probably need to, or maybe 125, you probably need to move the seat forward a little bit to kind of act up that uh, weight on the stern and getting stern entered and stuff, or back entered. If you're below 125, really small person, you probably won't really have to deal with that. You can probably just leave the seat in the middle. It just depends on how you like to paddle too. I myself prefer paddling forward anyway, so it's not a big deal. And you got plenty of bow rocker to move the seat forward. So again, not a huge deal. It paddles super well, like I said, on the southeast runs. It's got a lot of forgiveness on the sides. When you hit rocks, it just sheds right off rocks, no issue. The edge doesn't catch on the rocks or anything like that. Super smooth. It just feels smooth when you paddle it. It, just feels, it feels like butter. It feels like you're paddling a piece of butter down the river. Um, super fast and maneuverable. Very nimble and quick. You can cut into eddies, cut out of eddies super fast. Goes off drops good, good boosts well. Um, with that smaller stern, you can actually stern load it pretty well for a creek boat. When I had the seat bag in the demo, I could almost stern squirt it, which is kind of nuts for a creek boat. But it's very playful. Like it's a very playful boat. Um, let's see what else. Again, I don't have another creek boat to compare it to, a, a small one. And I, really comparing it to a medium scorch isn't really going to and play out it's not really apples to apples but i will say that, that the scorch probably is going to be more aggressive on the edges the small and i think looking at the picture the stern looked pretty flat like and then like the scorch x on the small i don't know if y'all seen that yet so we'll see how the stern does on the small rip i mean on the small uh, scorch and i think the small scorch is going to be a lot narrower i'm going to predict that's being about 24 and a half or this is 26 so Again, that will come into play on that stability piece. So there you, there you have it. Yeah, um, great creek boat. I think they nailed it with this design, especially for a smaller paddler. It's been so long. I've been waiting so long for a small creek boat to come out for me. And I know people my size paddle mediums and even larges, um, and they like it better. But personally, I just like a small boat. It's easy to maneuver, and I'd rather get trashed a little bit with the stern than have this huge boat to maneuver around so that's just my preference and everybody's got their style so again i'm so happy with this boat can't wait for the small scorch too i want to i want to see how they compare but as far as this boat it's definitely uh, a home run as far as design quality everything so if you're a smaller paddler in the market for a creek boat i can definitely recommend it um it's got a lot of forgiveness but also it's got some edges and stuff for those advanced paddlers that like that so I think it's a good boat for kind of the range of paddler from beginner to expert. Just one last thing I'll throw out there. If you're ever in the market for a kayak, you got to hit up Johnny Ortiz at Nanahill Outdoor Center. For the boats, they usually have all the new boats right away. They're almost the first store to get them. Super cool to work with. Awesome company, awesome guys. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market for a boat, hit them up. Peace.